Hello, young crafters. Welcome back to Crafting with Mrs. Baker. Today, we are going to be doing some painting. Oh, scary. That's scary for parents when you say painting because it can be very messy. So we're going to look at how to be as neat as we possibly can and still enjoy ourselves with our paint today. Painting supplies. Whenever you're painting, you're going to need things to help you if you make a mess. Um, things to keep you from being as messy as you possibly can and making sure that you're cleaning up behind yourself. If you're going to let, if your mom is going to let you paint, um, again with Mrs. Baker, you're going to need to be clean and tidy so that she knows that you are serious about your artwork. So to start with, I'm wearing my smock. Paint gets everywhere and we want to make sure that we keep it off of our clothes. The next thing we're going to need to have is a place that's going to be away from everything else and we're going to have to have a piece of paper down some newspaper i just used a piece of uh, butcher block paper i got off uh, a roll of brown paper that i got from the dollar tree so take a look at the things that i have on my table okay as you can see i have the paper on my table i have a cup that i'm going to put some water in because you're going to need to keep your paintbrush clean okay then from the dollar store, today I spent $4. I bought the crafting uh, canvas. It's like a piece of cardboard that has artist canvas on it. So it's a pack of three. I have a stencil brush, because today we're gonna be doing some stencil painting. So stencil brushes are, are flat on the top. So when you're painting and you're doing your dot, your dobbing, that it's very good to do that with. I also have an older uh, brush that I had gotten. I got these from the dollar store before it came a pack of five. So I also have this one to see which one I like better on my on my paint canvas. I bought a five, a six pack of paint for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Now I bought this one because I wanted to see how well it worked on my uh, canvas. And I wanted to see, I wanted a lot of colors for my dollar. So I got six colors here. Then I bought some stencils. Actually, they're just stickers. We're going to make them stencils. Um, sometimes stencils are not very easy to use, but the way that we're going to do it today is going to be pretty easy. So we're going to start by, I'm going to put a name, I think, on this canvas. I can't put my name because I think it's too long. It'll be too long with the stickers that I have. They're pretty big. But first, I'm going to open my canvas. Be careful with your scissors. Remember, I always tell you, you can cut your hands with a pair of scissors. So you got to be very careful with them. It's almost like having a knife. So, opening my packs of canvas. So I told you I have three. So it has a little piece of paper on the back of it. It's pretty tough. Pretty hot on the top. But it's going to be make a nice picture. So I'm gonna use that one. So now with these letters, they're peel and stick. So you can peel it off and you can stick it where you want to. So I was thinking I was gonna use the word love. It's kind of close to Valentine's Day and it would look really pretty on my, on my table. So I'm gonna take the L, gonna find where I wanna put it on the canvas. So I gotta get love on here. So I'm gonna start with this one, I'm gonna put it right here. So I just took it and stuck it right there on my canvas. Nice and tight. You don't want, when you start to paint, that you want it to go underneath it. So for love, I need the O. Put the O in there. Make sure it's nice and secure. Uh, let's see if I can find a V. If you flip it over, there's some more on the other side. There's my V. I'm going to put that might have to move it over some. I'm gonna not gonna have. I'm gonna run out of space for my E, so I'm gonna take my L up. I can get it up. Slide it over some. Let's move the L over. My V. Now I have room for my E on the end. Oh, I ripped it. I need to take my time. Let's see, I have another one on the back. So, so you won't do what I did. Take your time taking them off. It can be kind of tricky. There we go. I put my E right there. 
That looks pretty good. Make sure everything is nice and flat on there. I don't want paint going underneath it. So now these poster stickers are pretty cool because they leave them blank so you can either color them in. If you don't want to use any paint or your mom has just said no paint for you, then you always can take your markers and color them in. These are the ones that don't have um, any color on them. So they're for you to color in your cells. Or you can get the kind that are already colored in and you can put it on your board. And then you can paint whatever you wanted to put on here. If your name is four letters long or three letters, letters long, with this size letter lettering, you can probably get your name on this canvas. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I'm gonna take the red because of course Valentine's Day is red. And now with the paints, because they've been sitting on the shelf for a little while, you wanna give them a little shake. With the top on, nice and tight, you're holding the top and the bottom and you're gonna give it a nice shake so that if the paint had settled to the bottom that it you mix it all up some. So let's get it open. Let's get everything off the table that I don't wanna get paint on. Move all my supplies over except the paintbrush that I'm using. I have an extra towel just in case I'm a little bit messy. And here's my water. If you know from painting in school, you used to have an easel with your paintbrush that you would put in the water once it gets Kind of messy so we're only going to use one color today we're going to use red okay take that from the top over there so we're going to see if this dauber works this is going to be my first time using it so i'm going to take a little paint i'm going to get it on my brush okay so make sure everything is flat and i'm just gonna go around my letters Making sure you're going up and down. There we go. Let's get a little bit more paint on it. I'm gonna do my letters first, because that's where we want. Underneath it, when we take it up, it should be white, because I'm painting red all around them. So if you don't wanna get words, you can get other stickers if you want. Letter, any. You don't have to get letters, you can get animals, you can get shapes, you can get numbers, whatever you want. So I dab my word first. And I'm thinking, do I want to leave some of the some of it white? I think I do. So I'm just going to dab where I want it to be red. So when you're painting like this, you're the artist, so you can make it however you'd like it to be. So I think I'm just gonna have it around and I'm gonna have the red, the white around the border. But remember, this is your painting, your canvas. You're making it how you wanna make it, whatever word that you wanted to do. I just picked love because it's almost Valentine's Day. And I think I wanted to have it. See how I'm dabbing it around there and it's painting it. Okay, I guess I'll go to the end on this side. I think I like that. I like the way that looks. So now with painting, I'm gonna put my brush in the water. It's gonna to need to dry. So we're gonna to need to put it in a place where it can dry. And then we'll come back and take a look at it. And then we'll peel off the letters and to reveal the white underneath the bottom. So we'll check back in in a few minutes. Let's check to see if our painting has dried. Still a little wet. I can still get some on my finger, but it needs to dry. It takes a little bit of time to dry. I am going to try to remove my letters while it's still wet. You shouldn't do this. You should let it dry. So let's see. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I think I love it actually. And there it is, my stenciled love. So with both of our pictures, the one that we I painted and the one that I used a marker with, we can take on the back and we can take some string and tape it to the back 
so that we can hang it somewhere for someone to see or hang it in your room or um, give it to your teacher, give it to your mom or your dad. You know, always when you're doing crafting, it's not just for yourself. You can always share it with someone else. So thank you for joining me on today with Crafting with Mrs. Baker. And hopefully I'll see you again soon.